Okay, I think we're on. Yes. All right, so this video, uh, we're going to be going over uh, formatting output in both C out and printf. So, I'm going to go into that. Um, you will need to have the IO manip if you're going to be using C out in formatting. And if you want to use printf, you'll have to have the standard IO.h, as well as the IO stream for everything that we'll be using. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over some uh, the main ones that you'll most likely be using, uh, which is going to be set w, set precision for uh, C out formatting, and then uh, I'll go over the printf ones as well. It's a little bit different, um, and I think a little bit more intuitive. You can do a lot more stuff with uh, printf too. Yes, and a lot easier. Yes, I think. definitely a, a lot, lot, lot less typing. Yeah. So I just made a simple program that kind of we did some formatting with the uh, outputs. Um, and they just have a little description. So like as you see here, I'm just using uh, the actual line, like whatever it's describing. I'm using that tool. So first of all, uh, set w is set width. So you're gonna give it a uh, minimum amount of uh, spaces that a uh, variable will be given. So like if you only want to print out one number but you gave it 10 uh, a width of 10, it's going to have um, one oh, number. It's going to have one number but it's going to have a big old padding as you'll see when I run the the uh, the program. It'll have like a column of blank space. Oh, and uh, if you give it something that's bigger than the padding that you set up, um, you can go over that bound and it will just print out what you typed. Like for example, if you have a set width of like 10 and uh, you uh, ha had a word that was like 15 spaces big, it would just print out the word with 15 spaces. Yeah. Well, the 15 space word, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you go over your spots, um, it's not. I don't think it cuts it off. Uh, we were messing around with that earlier. It's just a, a minimum bound. Lower bound. And um, so in this first line here, we use a uh, we give it a width of 20, and we just put that in between. Uh, or what you have to use the command like set w before you use it on whatever you're going to use it on. So I'm doing a width of 20 for the set string. W. Yeah. And yep. so you have to keep that in mind. Um, so in the next one, I do a, a, a similar example where we just get an input and we set a width on it for that input. And we can show you both when you enter in a, a small uh, string and a large string that the set 10 or set w10 uh, has the lower bound. Um, then when we get into numbers like floating point numbers, <coughs> the uh, when you when you don't give any precision and you have a big number like this, it cuts it off uh, right here. You should show. Them. It, it'll only show those. You should put that like right, right before you actually yeah. set position. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll add that in, and you guys can see that. So Oops. precious. precious. <laughs> oh, the Hobbit's coming right up. Oh yes. Like next week. Or so. All right, so I have that first C out that I added in there. So we, we show no set precision sum of uh, 5 and then 1 at 10 to show everything and then I also use a set fill which uh, could be handy if you need it to uh, fill in blank spaces with X's or something else or zeros whatever you want to uh, fill it in with if you don't give it a set fill it's just gonna leave it as spaces as you'll see uh, momentarily um, so should I go ahead and run it, or should I explain? Did, the did you explain what set fill was? I spaced out for a split yes, second. Yes, I, I did explain. I'm, I just like set spaced fill. out for a second. I was like, <laughs> I was staring outside your window. And yeah, it's getting kind of messed up out there. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on with this day. 
All right, so I'm going to I'll go down to the print F section. So I pretty much recreated the C out section. I might have missed a line or so, but you can see it's a uh, much cleaner <laughs> and yes. prettier. So, yeah, it it's a little bit once you figure out how print F works and how the uh, the variable placements work, then it it becomes really easy. So for here, uh, I did it. There's two different ways that you can do it. Um, the S's, uh, well, you always start off with a percent sign. Uh, these numbers or letters right here, the S's and the F's, S stands for string, F stands for floating point, a D stands for a decimal number like an integer number, um, C is a character, and you can look up all of those to figure out which one you want to use. C++ reference is your friend, and yeah. especially when dealing with printf, because there's a lot of stuff you can yeah. do with printf. Yeah, printf's really powerful. And these numbers right here, in front of the S, and in front of the F, are pretty much giving us our um, our precision and our pad. Um, so, uh, like this 20 right here will give us 20 spots for our string. Mm -hmm. And I also did a uh, variation of it, where I replaced the number with a star and then you can put the number over here and that gives us a, uh, a like our set W equivalent sorta they're both kinda the same um, which one's the one that determines the precision cause uh, this, is, this is the one you have to put thinking. a dot so like if we oh yeah that's yeah. right so if we uh, I can show that afterwards so let's run the program real quick um, I've already compiled it well I'll compile it for you guys anyways man I need to fix that when like my the screen just flashes <laughs> like that. My face. Yeah. All right. So here we have our first uh, set W um, that we had for 20, I believe. So that is this line. Notice that we don't have any spaces after our strings right here. So it if we didn't have the set W, it'd just be two words pushed up against each other. But since we have that 20, we have this big O gap right there. So there should be 16 spaces in between using and set W. Yep. So I'm going to enter a, a small word right now to show you that the set W for uh, after we enter in a word has the 10 spaces, I believe. Yeah, so my last name only has four letters. There should be yep. six spaces in between. Yeah. Yep. So we have that. And then and when we go down to the um, the set precision section of it, we notice we have that first line where we don't have any set precisions, so you'll see it only cuts it off after uh, six numbers or five decimal places. Um, and I swear, sometimes <coughs> it looks like it does change when it rounds off. Like it rounds off <laughs> wherever it wants to. Yeah. I and might be wrong, but I really think it does. Like sometimes I get bigger numbers, sometimes I don't. Yeah. So and then when we do a set precision, it's not um, it's not just the decimal points; it's the, all the numbers that are shown. So, like this is five decimal points, but this is five numbers. So keep that in mind as well. And then when we uh, want to show the whole number, uh, I had to set the precision high enough to it where it would show all of the numbers. Um, and then when we want to use the set fill and have preceding X's or zeros or whatever, you can just re or, you know fill in whatever you want in this parameter, and it'll fill in up until that uh, uh, that spot. So like if we scroll back up and look at the set fill, I filled it in with X's and I gave it a uh, a width of 10. So we had eight more eight empty spaces. And we should have eight X's, so if we were to count, yeah, looks like eight. You probably will not use set fail, but on the case you do, you can always look it up on the reference too. Yeah. You can actually put zeros too, right? And other stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't, it's not part of the variable at all. It's just like it's just a, an extra just a thing. string concatenated on it, I think. Yeah. So then now we're going to go back down to the, uh, the print F that I forgot the T on. So I just tried to recreate the, the same things here. So as you can tell I used, uh, I believe it was 20, yes, it was 20. So this whole thing 
here should be 20 spaces mm -hmm. from using to the end of set W. Yep. And that looks about right. Yep. And then I did the something equivalent, but instead of using that, I used the star and gave it 10 spots uh, for the name. So we have our 10 spots here. And, and my name. then his name. And then we move down to the uh, precision parts of this. And we want five spots. So I gave it it. Oh, that's. Huh? Well, that I think that's spots? that's five spots for the um, the the part before the dot. So um, if you wanna have five oh, physical yeah, places, yeah, yeah, it should be yeah, yeah. dot five as well. Yeah. I believe. So uh, yeah, I messed that one up. So I'll fix that. And then same with the. Uh, well, the ten spots are a little bit different. I didn't put a decimal point, but I did, instead of have preceding X's, I had preceding zeros, and you can see I put a zero in front of that. So I'm going to go back in and fix the five spots on F. Oh, yeah. And uh, to clarify, oh, can you go up real quick before you do anything? Uh, you see how there's a CN.get line over there? If you notice, we don't have the CN.ignore. Sometimes you will not need it. If you're not mixing input, which is mixing CNs and CN.get lines and gets, you don't need the ignore. If you're mixing, then you do, just because of the way it works. So if you have a CN before the CN.get line, you need a CN.ignore. That's right. So I go here, and then how many spots do we want, Puga? Uh, three, four, I don't know. Let's do four. So yeah, that should work. So what I did was I gave it five spots to the left and four spots to the right of the decimal. That point. is so much prettier than yeah. doing with set position. I swear. Oh yes. So let's recompile it. Do that. Let's enter in his name again. And there we go. We have uh, since five. we only have one number on the left side anyways. So we print out the one number and then. We had our four spots to the right, cool. and that's that. So that's uh, some basic stuff with some output. Um, you will want to learn how to do some, you know, nice formatting with your output. And there's there's one program that Melissa makes them do that I swear it's just <laughs> so annoying. Um, I actually didn't know that set W was just lower bound. So yeah, that was it. Actually, well. it it made it not format pretty because you're supposed to make like a table with spaces and stuff. And it took a little bit to figure out. We got it to work, Ooh. but it's kind of annoying. Oh, how much time do we have? What time are we at? We probably need to end it soon. Uh oh, I was about to say if we can cover the um, casting, but I guess we can do that with later on. Let's just do yeah, it later on. We'll do it later. I mean, yeah. I could do this. We can no, cover no, casting no. real quick. No, right no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I think I think it needs proper coverage, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Well, that's uh. That's pretty that's, much it for yeah. formatting. If you guys need any more help with um, formatting techniques, I suggest really looking into printf and not set w. Yeah, and printf's uh, much easier to deal with. Uh, yeah, and if you get used to um, printf, like you're pretty much set on anything that requires formatting. Yeah. Uh, Couts are just good for um, quick output, but um, printf is definitely the way to go for anything that requires yeah. anything beyond simple output. You, you get more power over your output this way. I the think. power! Alright, well, that's it. Alright, cool.